Hi everybody, welcome to another new video. Yes, so Shemin has done it again. <laughs> and this time they have close to 15 colors. The three color, three series are Volcano, Shire, and the Desert, Desert colors. They actually came out pretty, like probably last year, um, as a, you know, together. So they didn't release the colors um, one by one. It was just together, 15 colors all at one go. And that was straight after the haze colors. So it started off with the Galaxy, Glacier, and Deep Sea colors. And then after that, there was a few months and they came out with Forest and Tundra. And then they had the haze colors. These are the colors that I have swatched out for the past 15 weeks, right? This is the series, the, the Volcano series of colors, which are looking very uh, yellow, red, orange, violet and kind of just reddish so it reminds you of volcano where everything is red and brown and um, at the top here the desert the desert series of color when you talk about desert colors what colors kind of like come into mind you know like yellow brown uh, gray orangey colors that are very something that you can find in the desert and then at the back at the bottom we do have those colors that are green vibrant i uh, think um, lively so it's the shire so i'm not even sure if the shire here refers to the shire in lord, lord of the rings um but definitely if i see these colors i kind of think of the the, the, the uh, green slope the houses very um law of the ring inspired colors like this one reminds me of modo this reminds me of rohan out of the three um, series um, we have two single pigment colors and that are that they, they are volcano red and volcano yellow and if if you kind of look at this whole table you will realize that the other colors are kind of like um, a combination or mixture with these two colors so it's either you mix it with p1159 or pr108 which is why, why i decided to kind of put them all together because they are all the same they are all coming from that two colors i have actually actually swatched this quite a while back and um, I do note that there is no 159 here. So if you can see, I don't think so. I'm kind of just confirming that it's no 159. Yeah. So it's an entirely new color that they, they have. Okay, so it's also not here. PR108 is our cadmium red. We, they do have cadmium red light, cadmium red middle, cadmium red deep. So these three are not granulating. So they are not, not known to be granulating. In fact, they are kind of opaque. So if you can see, um, that, that that opaque square in there so so this one i i would say for volcano red and volcano yellow they are kind of like new versions of the colors but the other ones over here i believe they kind of just take it from the um, the, the granulation granulating colors that they have so we have like three blue pigments we have two green pigments two brown pigment one violet one violet pigment and one black pigment the stars um, i put them on the colors that actually have three pigments and now let's go into the details um, of how you can mix them uh, yourself py159 volcano yellow and also pr108 the volcano red so these two form the main bulk of the colors and they are whatever that you have from these 15 colors are actually just mixture of these um, two colors when you mix volcano yellow and volcano red together you have this color called uh, volcano orange i quite like this color i think it's a very nice uh, coral coral color coral, or coral orange color bbk11 is our mask black it's a very popular color that is used in many of the um, colors range in the color ranges um, in the super granulation series because it is a, a granulating black color and the granulation is absolutely beautiful so this is volcano brown right so it's uh, this red plus the pbk 11. so i think from here you can actually see that it kind of looked like it has got more more black than it has the red cobalt violet hue is over here pv62 so pv62 uh, with PR108 um, give us this color called the Volcano Violet Volcano Violet um, is this one over here okay so it's quite a beautiful color I must say um, it's it's like a, a, a burgundy maroon color it's a nice maroon color okay PY159 with PBK11 over here uh, we have desert grey so this is the color So it's pretty close to, to, the, to the brown as well. So like PBK11 plus 108 gives you the volcano brown. PBK11 plus PY159 gives you the desert grey. So when we mix PY159, PR108, we get 
um, desert uh, volcano, volcano orange, right? And if you mix it with the PBK11 over here, you get a desert brown. So this is desert brown. So as you can see, these colors are very, very close um, to... Very close. They look really, really close. PBR7 here, if I'm not wrong, it's probably the green umber. All right. So there are actually a few PBR7, but I believe it's green umber just because the color kind of reminds me it's a little bit more greenish all right so um, yeah which is why i kind of just thought that it might be this one rather than the other two uh, pbr7 so for the reason i think you can go to one of the colors one of the forest um, one of the videos that i discussed the forest colors and that's where they actually started using pbr7 so and together, this two color PBR7 uh, plus PY159, uh, we get this color called the uh, desert desert yellow. Okay, so desert yellow is this one over here. Okay, so desert yellow is kind of like volcano yellow, but um, just a little bit more like a um, ochre color. So I think it's a little bit like a um, like a raw ochre color, or like a yellow ochre color. Okay, or like a raw sienna ochre color over here. So this one is kind of this two color mixed together. Kind of makes sense. And then we do have um, another color, which is the uh, desert orange. It's the PY159 over here with PBR33. So PBR33 is our mahogany brown. It's one of the colors that I really, really like. So the only issue I have this, with this color is it's actually um, noted down as um, opaque color. So if you have some lines that you have, it might cover up your lines. So that's something that you need to be careful about. And the color together with um, PY159 give us this color called the Desert Orange. All right, so this is Desert Orange. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of a, does look like a mixture of these two colors together. Cobalt Green Dark is, um, uh, an opaque green color over here. So it does appear separately in in these um, in um, our discussion. So I'm just gonna kind of paint it here first. It's a granulating cobalt um, green dark green pigment um, and it's uh, used before I think in uh, those uh, forest series of colors. So you can go back to the video that I have and you actually see it. So together with PR108, right, PG26, give us this um, desert uh, green color, okay? So it's kind of uh, more green than it is red. For Shire series of colors, they are, as you can see, a little bit more towards the PY159 area. Um, and so let's start with the, uh, uh, um, you know, what we already know. So PY159 plus PV62 um, gives us Shire yellow, all right? So Shire yellow would be this one over here. So um, when you mix like a yellow and a, and, a, and a violet together, you get kind of a neutralization. So it's kind of a grayish color. Um, yeah, so, but because the, 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 the violet is so soft, um, it does not like really become totally gray. So that's, that's one good thing. PV35 here um, is Cobalt Azul, uh, which is a very beautiful um, blue color. In other brands, it's actually um, cobalt. Uh, so it's actually cerulean blue. So there's actually several versions of cerulean blue. There's PB thirty five, there's PB thirty six, and then together uh, we have the. Um, it's called Olive uh, Shire Olive. So you can see that that crazy weird green looking color, which I think is really nice. It's a very soothing color. So this is that color. And then when we mix it with PG18, so PG18 is Viridian here. It's very close to our PG7, but it is granulating. The PG7 is not granulating. So together, um, you have this one called Shire Green, right? So this is Shire Green color. So it's together um, PG18 plus PY159 give us Shire Green color. PB29 is ultramarine blue, okay, over here. And a very sim similar color is the cobalt blue deep. So cobalt blue deep is PB74, which is over here. They are very, very close, except I think the PB74 is very, very granulating and it's slightly reddish, more reddish. So when we have PB PG26, PB29 and PR159, 
uh, we, we get this color uh, that we recently spoke about, which is the Shire Blue. So Shire Blue is this weird, I would say it's, it's a very interesting color. It's like a greenish, like a turquoise like color with a wee bit of like the, 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 the granulation from, from the PY159. And then when we mix PBK11, PB74 and PY159, we get this color called Shire Grey. So Shire Grey kind of look uh, very close. It's actually very close to the Hay series of colors and, and the, uh, you know, the blacks as well. So there you go. So here are all the colors in the um, uh, Volcano, Desert and Shire, um, all together in a Venn diagram and how they all kind of relate to each other. Now we compare the um, performance in the light fastness test. So those, the half of the strip where I, uh, that's on the left hand side, I kept them in the dark uh, since uh, February 2022. And for those that are in the right hand side, I put them uh, you know, at the window. Um, um, and I just took them out in August. So I have put them in this, this side, the right hand side in the sun for a good six months. I do not see a difference. The colors that I really, really think um, are worth getting the volcano yellow and the volcano red because they're single pigment colors and you can use it to mix your own versions of colors. Um, if you'd like to have a granulating yellow or a granulating red pigment um, inside your mixture, a special mixture of colors that you make. These two are, are very good to have. Um, this is a unique mixture. Desert Green is a unique, quite a nice mixture that you can't see anywhere else. Um, and I think out of here, Shire Blue is also a unique mixture because it kind of separates out into three separate colors. Volcano Brown is also quite a nice color. Um, the granulation is just crazy. There are a lot of repeating um, browns and yellow, which I am not so thrilled by them, like the desert yellow, um, Shire yellow, and some of these orange, like the desert orange, desert brown, volcano orange. They are they are okay, they're nice, but um, I am not like too totally like crazy about it. Shire green is one of those weird colors, like kind of a in your face green, and this is like the only one that looks blue. The Shire gray is the only one that looks kind of blue. That's, that's as much as I can say um, of, of these uh, colors. So many colors. So we have not talked about the colors from the, the other range. Um, so perhaps in the next video, I'll be talking about all of them together um, so that you can, you can kind of decide like if I need a brown, like which brown I should go for because there are just so many browns and there's so many yellows and greens and grays. Okay, so yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and um, do subscribe to, if you like to see similar content. And uh, do let me know if there's any other granulating, super granulating layering colors that you like to see. See you in next week. Bye-bye.